Hello everybody, today I am going to explain how to import images. The two types of image types inside of Roblox Studio are decals and textures. It is important to keep in mind that the textures from this video are not covering PBI texturing, however I have made a video about that which is shown above. Here I am preparing two different parts, one for decals and one for textures. You will want to have properties. An Explorer tab open. From here, find your part and right-click it. And add a decal into the part. Now that we have added the decal, it lets us place it on any face of the part, you can change this later through the face selector. Let's move on to texture real quick, don't worry, you haven't missed anything, I will show you how to add images to these decals in a moment. Same as the decal, it allows us to pick a face, you can change this later. From here you can add an image, I already have some pre-imported from the old tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to import these yourself. For the first method you will want to open the Asset Manager in View tab. Great, now that we are here you will want to press Bulk Import. This will open your File Explorer tab. You will want to select the image you want, keep in mind textures will not accept normal maps, metal maps, or roughness maps, like PBR textures will. I made a whole video dedicated to that if you want to learn more. I am now quickly going to show you the second method, you will want to press on texture, and on the drop down in the bottom right you will click add image. You will want to press choose file from here, and then file explorer will open up again. You will want to select the image you want to import, and then press open. The tab will now close and you will want to press create, this will automatically allocate the image into the decal, as well as upload it to the game asset manager. Allowing you to select it again later on. You can do the same for the decal instance, however if it is the same image you can just select it from the drop down. Stop. Do you want to be in a video? Well you can. Just click the link section on my account and press on the discord. Press accept invite. Read the rules. Verify and click on Best Creations. In this channel you can post your work, and I will make a video reacting to your creations and then give you feedback and a rating from 1 to 10. Back to the tutorial. From where we left off, we have both a decal and texture image imported. Initially you can already see a big difference between the two. The texture is much smaller than the decal, let me explain why and how to fix it. Textures have a scale variable called studs per tile U, and V, UV, is a common term in 3D design that identifies the two axes of a 2D plane, U representing horizontal, and V representing verticality. What this slider allows us to do is change the sizing of the texture on both the U and the V axis. I have it set to 5 here, but to get a texture to fit flushly on a part, you want the U and V axis to be identical to the stud size, in this case it would be 4 as the part is 4 studs wide. I am now going to present the biggest difference between decals and textures. Textures have the ability to array, meaning they will repeat and duplicate itself if you stretch the part. Now let's have a look at decals, which instead of duplicating will turn into an animated pirate. In all seriousness decals do not replicate, and instead scale along with the part. I wanted to showcase the use of stud offset in the texture properties. So first let me add an image that we can easily see. Perfect. As I mentioned earlier, to get a texture to fit the part, you want to set the stud UV to the size of the stud frame size, in this case 4. Let me duplicate this part, and union it. Unioning it will offset the stud, this is just so I can show you a purpose for it. However offsetting studs has a lot of other uses that you can probably figure out. Here you can see the texture is no longer fitting the texture well. To fix this and center it, you want to divide the part size by 2, in this case the stud is 4, and we would want the offset to be 2 on both U and V offset. If we double it, we can see that the stud size from 8 will need an offset of 4 to properly fit within the bounds of the decal. In Toolbox you can find some cool decals, this is convenient as importing your own can be annoying, so some people do it for you. You can use decals for adding details and smudges, or even clutter, at a low polygon expense. Today's video was rather short, I hope you enjoyed and learned something, please like and subscribe, love you.